Mm. Are you just waking up? No. You've been up since 6.30 at volleyball practice, came home and now you're taking a nap and now you're just waking up from that nap? I woke up at 6.15. Okay. Are you going to go drive truck with me? No. No, you're going to stay home? Yeah. Okay. Hello there, you great people. How are you on this magnificent day? Well, we were home for a little bit. Now it's time to go drive a truck. I got my fix and my kids. I still have those appointments to make, but what we did is we took a short one. Short one that pays good, but it's still a short one. We're going to run down to Topeka, Kansas. So our agenda today is we're going to run up to Sioux City, Iowa. We're going to get a load. It's already loaded in the trailer. And we're going to run it down to Topeka, Kansas. First we needed to turn the pump on and get the pool pumping. Pretty sure the little brat children are going to be in there later on today. They're not going to ride with me, neither one of them. I bored them way too much, I think. Please take me, Daddy. Please, please take me. <laughs> you won't look at the camera. <laughs> Jump high. Yeah. I didn't know he could do that. He just did that. Okay. All right, guys. Well, Tater Tot couldn't go. She has volleyball. And uh, little bud, he said he didn't want to go. So that left my Opie. My beautiful, beautiful Opie. I've never brought him in the truck before. So we're going to see how he does. I've had Opie probably six years and I've never taken him in the truck. I'm a little anal on keeping the truck clean. So this is going to be a lot of hair. Um, there has been a dog in here. I uh, I volunteered my time and I for a uh, veterans. What was that? It was a veterans thing. Uh, veteran veterans service dogs. A veteran service dog needed transported from. I think it was down in Kentucky somewhere back home here to Iowa. So man, little bud did that. That was a disaster because that service dog hadn't been trained yet and it was a mess. A lot of hair. But I'm thinking this German Shepherd here, Opie, is going to leave hair all over my truck and it's going to be a disaster. But we're going to take him. And guess who else decided decided to uh, that they wanted to go since I was taking Opie? Me! I'm going to go ahead and say he's adjusting well. This could be an interesting 12 hours, right, Opie? Yeah, interesting. Oh, God. I can't stand this silence no more. We have to talk. Thank you all for subscribing. Over these past months, we are almost to a thousand. How cool is that, Opie? Isn't that cool? I know, right? Isn't that so cool? Yeah, look at him. He's so happy. Yesterday, we just hit 901 subscribers. I don't know where we're at now, but that is fantastic. You all are amazing. Thank you all for subscribing. And now, here comes my dad.
know, when I originally bought bought Opie, my plans for him was to make him a, a trucking dog. We bought him as a puppy. He was six weeks old. And I think he would have worked really good as a trucking dog, but... When we bought Opie, we also bought his brother. And uh, let's just say he got very attached to his brother and he was, he get, he's not a good only dog, let's just put it that way. Now his brother, my other German Shepherd, you guys have seen him, the big black one, he's just fine as an open dog. And just kind of lays around all day. That being said though, I don't know how I could take Opie all, with me all the time in the truck and expect uh, Jax to just lay around and be lonely. Because when there's not a pandemic going on, my house is empty. Other than my boys. Warden's a teacher. Both kids go to school. I suppose I could take Jax over to his grandma's, over to my mom's house. And he would be just fine with that. But then Jax would get as big as a house and not with muscle. Because my mommy dearest, I do love her. She gives Jax whatever he wants. Food-wise. But look at that. He has gotten to where he's already used to it. Come on, Opie. Come here, Opie. And I understand I won't be able to let him out without a leash when we're at truck stops and such because, well, I worry about him. He's not running off. He won't run off and go anywhere. Oh, we're caught. This dog will stay by my hip anywhere I go. I can walk him around town without a leash and he does not leave my sight. He's a very well-behaved German Shepherd. So basically I would have to get one of those long leashes to go out with him because I just wouldn't want to. Uh, risk, you know, maybe, you know, if he's seen a, a squirrel or a rabbit he might take off on me, but if I yell once he's coming back. But as for right now, we're at the yard and we're picking up our trailer and he's just fine just running around here. Aren't you, Opie? I don't know if you'll be camera shy or not. Opie, come here. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. He is a little camera shy, but he's making it work. As for that bonehead right there, he flat out told me, oh, I better not go with you, Dad. He was bored. I think you'd be bored riding with me. But the minute I said I was gonna take Opie, guess who said he wanted to go with me? Me, yeah, me. That's all right, we'll make it work. He can keep open the company. All right, load up. As for that, that's mind boggling. I never knew he'd get up in this truck like that. Luckily guys, this load pays good enough. We are going to run it down to Topeka, Kansas, drop this trailer off, pick up an empty trailer, and then we are going to turn around and come right back home, right back up here to Sioux City, Iowa. Simple enough, right? Sioux City, Iowa, Topeka, Kansas, Topeka, Kansas, back to Sioux City, Iowa. I think we can make that work, don't you guys? Well, we're going to finish this log book up. We're going to run over. We're going to fill this reefer up because the refrigerated trailer is running a little low on fuel. And I'd like to drop it down there with a little bit more than what's in it. <clears throat> Why don't we go ahead and get that done and uh, I will be back with you guys shortly. Alrighty, while we're fueling up here, I want to cover just a couple things. One thing, did you guys see how many subscribers we're at? That's crazy, right? I think I... 926 subscribers, last time I checked. We're almost to a thousand. 
That is insane. We've had this talk before and we will have this talk when I hit a thousand of how I didn't expect to get over 60 subscribers. Ooh, nuts. But with subscribers means something else. We're getting spam on our comment section. What's happening is it'll be just some random guy and he's leaving a website up, basically leaves a website up to go to a porn site. And I'm catching them. I've caught three of them so far. And you know, you do the whole thing. You report them as spam and you delete the comment. If I don't catch them though, guys, and you do see one of them, make sure you let me know. I'm not gonna have that kind of stuff on my uh, my YouTube channel. I, I really don't, I really hope it's not just one person doing it. I, I'm hoping it's some kind of computer generated thing that's doing it. And it's not annoying at this point, but you know, I read all of my comments, you know, every comment I read. If I react to it, I don't know, but I read every single comment I get from you guys. And I love the comments as you guys already know. But just make sure if you see anything that looks like spam on there, you let me know. And like I said, I'm doing my best to keep them off of there. But anyway, reefers filled up. Dogs are, the dog has been ran, dog has been, gave him some water, he's good to go. Let's go see how he does running down the interstate, all right? 926 subscribers. That is insanity. The trip seems to be going pretty good. Opie's handling the trucking part, I'd say, fairly decent, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He hasn't complained yet, anyway. We're going to pull in here, we're going to grab some fuel, then uh, after that, we will let uh, Opie out to run a little bit. We might even let the boy out to run a little bit. See him back there behind me? He's sitting up. See him there? got his own little routine back there already he sees me put my boots on and he's up and ready so he is learning pretty quick
Well, he had to go. He beat me out of the truck almost. <laughs> well, we've made it down here to Topeka, Kansas right now. Right now, we're stopped about two blocks from where I'm going to unload this load. And uh, I've come to realize with the dog, you know, you really got to start thinking. Where are you going to stop? Because if you stop where you get unloaded, most of the places I go to are concrete canyons and really not worth a hoot. So we found us a nice little grass lot here and we're just going to run around here for a little bit, let him get his business done and uh, go from there. Little bud, what? how is Opie doing on the trip? Good. He's doing good? Yeah. I think he is too. He slept a lot. A lot. He slept a lot. He slept about five and a half hours worth of sleep and that's a lot of sleep. But he is doing good. He's, he is, he's a good traveler. You know, I've taken him before in the pickup a lot of places. He's never been in the semi before, but I am impressed with him. He, he is doing really good. Come on, Opie. Let's go for a little walk here. You know, if I was to bring him full time, I think I'd have to bring a ball, of course. I'd have to bring his ball and a couple toys for him. He'd either chew on or he could play catch when you get out into a wide open grass area just to let him run around and get some exercise because that's where I'd feel sorry for him in the wise of exercising. I mean, granted, he doesn't get a whole lot of exercise just sitting at home either, but he gets more than what I think he'd get in the truck. I mean, a German Shepherd, they're an energetic dog. You know, you don't want to just trap them in somewhere and expect them to be good. Now, his brother, on the other hand, his brother would be good. Yeah. It's going to mark your territory everywhere, don't you, big boy? I'm pretty sure he has officially marked every single plant bush, shrub, tree, post out here. How much pee can a dog hold? I'm not too sure if he's a fan of little Bud being in here, because as you guys can tell, this is his seat, and he kind of knows that he's in the passenger seat every time we're going somewhere together in the pickup or whatnot. Like this? When we got down, I kind of really do like this. This works out because I love you just so much, Daddy. I love you. I love you. I can't believe I'm getting to spend every minute with you, Daddy. I love you so much. Ooh, we got some bumps up here. Well, you guys have heard me complain about this place before. It works out good because it's. Close. You can get a good run out of this and only have about, about 550 miles wrapped up into your day. And it does pay decent. It's not a great paying load, but when it comes down to it, you can make it work. The bad part is, we come down here, we drop a trailer off, we pick up an empty trailer, then we're big lining it back up to the city. There isn't an empty trailer. There was supposed to be an empty trailer guaranteed sitting here waiting for me. All right, well, I'm gonna jump back in the truck, break the news to little bud that we gotta sit here and wait a little bit longer. I really wanted to be home by midnight tonight. This is gonna screw my world up. Trucking, what do you do? Well, they found us a trailer, an empty trailer. They come at a sacrifice though. These places, they're not built for real trucks. Yes, that is my mud flap. Not too sure what that is. Water running through it. Can't keep anything nice. Alrighty guys, we're all done. We got out of there. We are missing a mud flap now and I am covered in dirt and the whole ball of wax. What do you say, bud? We highball it for the house? Yeah. We're going to highball it for the house. We got 260 miles to our home. All goes right. We should be home, I'd say, 1230 in the morning. All right, guys. Well, you got a beautiful sunset there. Let's look at that for a little bit. Then we're going to get out of town and hammer down and put the metal to the pedal, put the pedal to the metal. You know how it goes. Let's get out of here. I'm done.
guys, we've arrived back at home, and uh, all in all, I'd say it was a pretty good trip. Come here, Opie. Come here. Don't get camera shot. Yes, don't get camera shot. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes. I think Opie did great. He loved the truck. You know, he got a lot of sleep in. He might be a little wound up. But I guarantee you, right now, we are parked not too far from the house. We can't park at the house right now. So we got the wagon behind us. But I guarantee you, his brother Jax, here's the truck running right now. I can almost guarantee it. Right? You miss your brother? You miss your brother? So I don't know if Opie's going to be riding with me in the truck the whole time or not, but it's nice to bring him along every once in a while. The trip went good. Little Bud's in the truck sleeping right now, so I got to get him back up, wake him up and get him out. Start walking back up to the house. Little Bud was chewing me out. I really have to remember, start remembering and start telling you guys this. If you like the video, throw a like down there. I really do appreciate it. If you have any concerns, comments, questions, throw them in that comment section. I do read all my comments so far. Um, if you think this is a journey that you can follow along with in the truck and in the home, at the home, go ahead and subscribe to it. I think you might like it. I really do. You guys be safe. As always, I'll see you next time.